What's going on everybody? Come back. Got a little something to talk to you about. We're going to start doing a vlog on Saturdays. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? We'll start doing some Saturday vlogs. Um, just trying to get more stuff out there for you guys. So we're going to start off this Saturday with my truck. My 2010 Nissan Titan. Now I've been driving this thing, uh, I'd have to look back. I'll put the date when I actually introduced it to the channel. But it's been on a lot of camping trips. It's been, you know, several trips. Um, went to Wind Rock. It didn't go off road, but it went to Red Rock. Wind Rock. Now the biggest problem with this truck is that I have with this truck is it's not four wheel drive. I didn't get a four wheel drive. I wished I'd gotten a four-wheel drive. Now, I know some people may say, well, you would just introduce yourself to more problems down the road. That's true. May have. But, and now, take it for granted, we don't normally have snowstorms like we had three weeks ago, but we do get them every now and then. Okay, it's been five years since we had decent snow. So, if I'd had a four-wheel drive, we could have gotten to the office a little sooner to check on things than what we did. Now, the father-in-law still runs the office, but we still have to, we're, we're still kind of running the office. He's doing it from afar. When I say from afar, he's not able to get out as much as he used to, so it's from the phone. But um, we realized that, you know, this thing being two-wheel drive, which I will say, what little I had to drive, it did really decently in the snow. Now, when it comes to ice, ain't nothing going to do worth a darn in ice. Just not going to happen. I don't care what you've got, unless you got spikes or something on your tires. You know, ice is ice, and no full drive around is going to do very well in ice. Um, so that that there interlies the problem. I like my truck. I love this Nissan Titan. I always wanted a Nissan Titan when I first saw them. Uh, drove one several years ago and wished I had it, you know, then. So, four wheel drive, all wheel drive that I've had over the years. I've had an Explorer Sport. I might, no, I don't have a picture of it. The Trailblazer, which I'll throw a picture of it now. And my Ford Flex, which was all-wheel drive. I didn't think it would go good in the snow, but five years ago when we had the snow, big snow, it went really well in the snow. Hmm. Um, so anyway, there's that. Now here's the quandary. You know, I said something to my wife, maybe it's time for me to get rid of the truck and get in something that's four-wheel drive. If I had something four-wheel drive, I'm more likely to go to some new places with it. Like the Dirt Devil. I might go do it in my truck. My own personal vehicle. The other thing is, if I get a four-wheel drive and get rid of the Titan I've got now, do I get a four-wheel drive Titan and beef it up and take it places I shouldn't? <laughs> or do I get something totally different? Now, I've been in Toyota Tundras and I've been in Toy uh, the other Toyota Tacomas. Me and Tacomas don't fit very well. Now I can always look at a Nissan uh, Frontier. Might like that. Never really been much of a Chevrolet, a Chevrolet guy. I've owned a couple. Um, like I said, Trailblazer, but in my I had a 67 Impala in high school. So I kind of like the looks of the Colorado. It's a small vehicle. Do I want a smaller vehicle? Well, if you go back trail stuff, you kind of want something smaller, not a full size. But yet I'm a big dude, I'm 6'5", 4", depends on where I'm coming out of. So that's my problem. Do I get something different? Do I get or do I just keep this and know that, you know, 
when it snows again or if I wanted to go off-road, it's not going to happen. Or I just go in Bill's Jeep. It has to be Bill going, or me, me and Bill going somewhere. You really shouldn't off-road solo because something could happen and then you're in trouble. So anyway, that's my dilemma. That's my problem. Um, the, this Titan has been great. I know Titans have issues at some points with exhaust manifolds and radiators. But that's the biggest problems they have. The rest of the time, they used to do pretty darn good. This one's doing pretty darn good. 125,000 miles. Uh, keep the oil change regularly in it. Use synthetic oil in it. Uh, keep tires, wheels and tires rotated and balanced. Brakes are checked. Everything's good there. You know, I keep everything serviced. So it, it should last a long time. A lot longer. It's done great on camping trips. I mean, me and Chloe, you know, me and Chloe have gone. Me and Chase fixing to go here pretty soon. Load everything in the very back and put personal gear in the back seat, and we're good to go. That's the other thing. I'd have to have a crew cab. I could. I don't know that I could survive with a regular cab vehicle. It'd have to be a crew cab. I don't know that I want another SUV. Um, and there again, you get into the. Tahoes and excursions and you get into a heavy vehicle and I don't want a heavy vehicle So anyway, that's it for now Just want to throw out there y'all can leave your comments down below make sure you like subscribe and share the videos Make sure you check out my Amazon Links down below and if you purchase anything remember it helps out the channel, but doesn't cost you any more, and I would sure appreciate it, it May determine me getting another vehicle I can start getting a lot of help. So, anyways, that's it for now. As we always say, be prepared.